everyone, this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today on episode we are making pork chops. Look how beautiful and gorgeous they are. Very thick the way I like. And the star of the dish actually is not pork chops, it's a watermelon. I went to farm yesterday and look how beautiful gorgeous watermelon I got. And this watermelon with seeds, so it's not genetically modified. It's old-fashioned, <laughs> locally grew, and we love it. It's so flash and bright. And last year I made video how to make popsicles, creamy, um, creamy watermelon popsicle with lime. It's very yummy recipe, and I will link below in description for that recipe. But today we are making something savory with watermelon. Let's for the ingredients we need, four beautiful pork chops, and on bone, very thick, uh, freshly ground black pepper, coarse, and it's absolutely must, <laughs> freshly ground coarse. It's nothing can beat the flavor of fresh pepper. Also salt, Celtic salt I use, coarse as well, which is nice, and a little bit olive oil. And for the sauce, we need a curry paste, red curry paste, and I'm using this brand. Um, also, fish sauce, red wine vinegar, and maple syrup. Kind of balance nice uh, flavor, uh, sweet and salty and sour for the sauce, curry, red curry sauce. We, that's what we try to create. And we'll top with watermelon. We'll cook low and slow. Um, we'll take about one and a half, two hours. But the result, I promise you, absolutely delicious the watermelon sweet and pork as we now like sweet it's married beautifully together and also watermelon become looks more like tomatoes and I promise I bet no one <laughs> your guest um, dinner party will never guess this watermelon everyone will think it's tomato let's do it you heat your cast iron nice and hot and let's season the pork be generous <laughs> Be generous. We need to drizzle a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit to coat the pan. Or really any oil can do. And pepper. Be generous too. And kind of try to pat. Nice and brown. That's, that's what you want. Nice caramelization. Meanwhile, while our pork chops still cooking on medium low heat, but nice searing. We want truly nice, beautiful crust. The more caramelization we'll see, the more flavor we'll uh, later on in this dish. So for the sauce, we need maple syrup, vinegar, and about three tablespoons of curry paste. And about two, three teaspoons of uh, fish sauce. Whisk all together. Look how beautiful and gorgeous they are. Nice crust, nice and brown. <laughs> it's exactly what you want. And now all we need just to pour this paste. Get on top with chopped watermelon. Now cover this foil nice and tight. It's very important. And place in oven for about one hour, one hour and ten minutes. Finally, it's ready. Smells so good and so delicious. Fragrant, bubbling, and looks just like these tomatoes, isn't it? And I like to serve this with uh, this pork chops with rice. Fragrant butter and herbs rice. I will show you next video, so don't miss how to make this rice. Something with like rice or mashed potato or something just to 
soak all this juice in delicious flavor would accumulate during cooking. Otherwise, you're just totally missing the point of this dish. Let's try. Let me tell you, it's so delicious, it's so unique flavor, and I promise no one will get this watermelon. It has slightly sweetness due to the dish juicy, which is provide more sauce for your rice or potato. It's delicious. It's very yummy <laughs> and a vibrant dish. Great for summer. I hope you enjoyed my video and give this recipe try soon. And give me a like and subscribe. Bye. See you next time.